Previously on the Traveling Together Journal, we had an incredible time exploring beautiful Costa Rica before continuing our journey and crossing the border into Panama. Santa Catalina and we are camped on a kind of a bluff overlooking the Santa Catalina wave and we're gonna camp here at Surfers Paradise. There is a huge squall behind me. You probably can't see how dark that is back there but uh, we're gonna try to get set up really fast. All right we managed to set up camp sort of just in time. We got like 98% done before it started just totally dumping, uh, which was pretty good. Cheers! Cheers. <laughs> so, Matt, how does it feel to be here at Panama's most famous wave, um, Santa Catalina? <laughs> I'm excited. Uh, I've been to Panama before, but I've never been here, so. Should be cool to check it out. Hopefully we get some fun waves tomorrow. surf out there and more and more storms keep blowing in and out so I think we're just gonna leave all right so we're leaving Santa Catalina because the swell is dying and the tides are shifting into a situation that's not gonna be good for that break and there's not gonna be another swell for a while and the camping was expensive so wham 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 and we're headed for a beach break surf spot and there's also a left hand point break near there that we're hoping to find some fun waves. Here we are, we're just gonna call this place home for at least tonight. And we're just doing the normal uh, Level out the truck with some sticks and logs. Oh, hi! Yeah, we got a new friend. I don't think this dog's going anywhere. You're too nice to it. How are you gonna learn? <laughs> I haven't really, we haven't done anything. You gave it water, you petted it. I just petted it. It already wasn't going anywhere. Camping amongst the palm trees on this big sandy beach all by ourselves, with some rideable waves breaking in the warm water out in front of camp, is just the situation we were looking for. But after a few days, our water supply was running low, and we had to head back into town to resupply. Check out this new cruiser cart. Wow. Oh, here's the fruits and vegetables. Yay! 
Matt's just filling up our water jugs there, and uh, we're about to have a little roadside lunch time. Uh, and then, yeah, we're gonna just go driving down to the very end of this road. Uh, Matt's got some Google Earth possible surf spots that we're gonna go try to find. Amy's not feeling very confident, probably because it's never worked out before. We normally just burn a lot of gasoline and it costs us a bunch of money. But hey, I like seeing new places, beaches, exploring is fun. All right, well, we've had a look around and have not found anything too exciting. Doesn't look like any particularly good surf setups. So we're gonna head back out the road we came. And we are headed for Playa Venal on the other side of the peninsula. Unfortunately, there's no road that goes across the peninsula to Playa Venal, so we have to go inland and around to the other side. So we finally arrived in Venal Cove Hostel and we are allowed to park in this totally awesome little area. Uh, they've got really nice facilities and the swell is super, super small right now. So cross my fingers, this is an Amy surf place. We both got a surf in this morning, and so there's no surfing footage. If I go surfing, there's no surfing footage. So that's kind of how it goes. Um, and tomorrow, the swell is supposed to be even bigger. Uh, Matt has all these little dots on the map for surf spots further down the road. Sounds like the road gets pretty terrible after some point, and there's like, three surf spots I think that he wanted to check out past the end of the road there. Matt's gonna wake up super early because he's gonna be super excited. Um, we're gonna get on the road. So I'm reckoning like sunrise time tomorrow. So we have arrived at one of the first spots was on Matt's list to go check out today and I'm gonna have to just GoPro stuff. It's pretty wet out here. It's not windy yet been all morning but the ocean's still just kind of like a lumpy mess out there so what are we doing now going to the next spot he's uh spending a lot of time checking that river out it looks pretty deep it's definitely like up to his thighs in a few areas So we're sitting at the end of the road. We've got some decisions to make. It's been raining, uh, there's a pretty sizable river over there, and then there's like this like little estuary chunk uh, that we have to drive through to get anywhere where we could camp. The wave doesn't look too good right now, right? No. Uh, the conditions just aren't good. So it's hard to tell if it's a wave that I want to wait around for, like for the conditions to improve, or is it just not going to be that great? We reassessed. This probably isn't a very smart spot to camp. I haven't really seen a good second option, and the waves are still looking pretty poopy. So I think that we are going to head back from whence we came.
Matt's checking the river again. It seems like it's just going pretty fast. What you think? Yeah. I think it might be like a half inch higher than it was when we crossed before. Yeah. Mixed emotions this morning, guys. Amy and I talked it out last night, decided that we are not gonna go to Panama City, mostly because we've both been there before and we just didn't come up with anything new that we wanted to do. Um, so what that means is we're turning around. Um, technically, yesterday was the southernmost point in our trip at Playa Orcones and the southernmost point that you can drive to without going through the Darien Gap. So, there you go. We get back to the Pan American Highway, we'll be taking a left and headed north. Are you excited to be going back north? I have mixed emotions. Yeah, me too. I realize like, I'm excited to see family and friends, even though it's really far from now. I'm not looking for like I know that as soon as we get back and it's like months into normal working life that I'm gonna be like why didn't we do that longer why didn't we stay there longer or you know I know I'm just gonna like look back on the trip and do things like that but it's time. Yeah. yeah, well deciding to turn around doesn't mean the trip's going to be any shorter. It just means we have budget to do something else. entrance to the Pan American we just got pulled over by the police again. We were on our way to Bocas del Toro to catch an off-season Caribbean swell that was forecasted to hit in a couple of days. But we weren't going to make it over the mountains to the other side before dark so we decided to stop off in Canguilones de Gualaca where we heard we could camp for free on the bank of a nice river. Good morning. We had a nice night's sleep last night. Uh, good and uneventful. And we're going to go check out the river this morning. Trees. All 
these highlands and these pine trees, mountains up here remind me of Mexico in Parque Nacional El Chico. What'd you get? You got a hot chocolate. Mm. Hot cinnamon. Yeah. Mm. And that is nice. It's really well balanced. It's not too sweet. You're right. Amy, you getting us some road snacks? Yeah, we're gonna eat a couple chicken empanadas, and I got one queso little roll, and then you just got a warm cinnamon roll for now. <laughs> Breakfast dessert. I calculated yesterday after we turned around and started heading north that we drove a little over 15,000 miles between California and Panama. Apparently the trip should have been less than 4,000 miles. No wonder it took us over a year instead of the 80 hours that Google Maps suggests. The Caribbean Ocean! Amy almost just gave me a heart attack. She saw a sloth in the tree, totally freaked out, barely let me stop the car before she just like jumped out, left her door open and went like running back up the road. <laughs> Let's go find her. I feel like we've seen the most active sloths ever. We just saw that one climb up to the top of like a 40 foot tree, all the way down to the ground, eat some ground vines, and then climb all the way back up. From what I've seen, sloths are very active. That was an extremely satisfying sloth experience. Except for that I thought I might get hit by a bus. Next time on the Traveling Together Journal, we catch the ferry out to Bocas del Toro and post up on the beach just in time for an off-season swell to deliver some warm Caribbean waves.